Yes, peeps. God level entertainment. And I can say slash news because there are some things that are happening that I have to weigh in. You know, give my two cents on what I believe and what I know. And just to reason a bit with some people to give them some understanding of some of these things that are taking place. No. We have a lot of us have, have known, heard by now about the thing that happened in Jamaica with the cult church thing. Don't remember the church name. But um, Mr. Kevin Smith, which is the supposed, well not supposed, this is the cult leader. right? I'm just using the word cult because that's what they are now calling it. Right? Um, yes, um, this happened on the 18th of October in the 2021 year. And I'm just going to, this video might take a minute, but I'm trying to, I'm going to try to keep it as interesting as possible because I'm going to point out a few things that people does not know, right? Now, I'm going to read the letter that he sent, right? Um, all members of pathways baptized under my hands only must be present at church this day, October 18, 2021. All cell phone must be switched off and left at homes wrapped in aluminum file. You will not be able to come on the property otherwise. I am His Excellency Dr. Kevin O. Smith, D.M. Crown Bishop and End Time Nabi of Him Conqueror, Lion of the Tribe of Judah, King of Kings and Lord of Lords, Jesus Christus. The one true and living God is involved directly while you are in fear and worry and low vibrations are around you and your heirs and successors are not yet done with the energy of both endings and new beginnings. Israel, God is Israel's King, Yeshua, Jesus, Christus, Rastafari. And he put his 999 um, there. Right? No. Certain things I can point out in a, this, um, this letter here. All cell phone must be switched off. Then you notice he capitalized. A in all. C phone must. Like. I don't know why not capitalize, capitalize the whole thing right there. Those one, two, three, four words. And then rap, I don't know why, but it just stood out to me. Then when he said, I am, right? Um, in the Bible, when God spoke to Moses, a lot of us know he said, so when it's Moses asked, who should I say sent me? Because God haven't as yet exposed his name to Moses. So God just said, I am, sent me. So him sort of a play upon the God name right there, right? Say I'm crazy, but that's what I believe. He's playing on God's name right there, according to the Bible. Right? Now, he used Jesus. Jesus is not in the in the um King James Version Bible. Right? So I'm not sure which Bible is using, but Jesus is in the Hebrew Bible. So I believe maybe you he's using the Hebrew Hebrew Bible. Christos is the greek that's what the greek call jesus christos and christos is also um one of their um let us say jesus right before jesus was jesus the greek had a jesus named christos right so they took that off them because what a lot of people don't know is that the greeks are the one that Gave the, the, the Israelites um, the Old Testament, right? And these people here are practicing the Old Testament um, lifestyle that God gave to the Hebrews, Hebrew Israelites, right? And then Rome they fight the Greeks and you know take over the world after a period of time, and then they realize that this these practices will not work right we need to get rid of this so they gave the, the hebrew israelites the new testament which they add jesus to it 
and one sacrifice, you know, cover all, and you know, fear kill no cow and no ballock and no chicken and no rabbit and doves and all them stuff there, them get rid of it because they realize that this practice cannot continue, right? It doesn't make any sense. Every time somebody sin, you have to go kill one cow or kill one rabbit or whatever it is. And then I don't think you can eat that meat. I don't remember anyone saying that they eat the meat after they sacrificed it, right? Anyways. And then he used Rastafari at the end there. It's like yes, Yeshua is basically Hebrew same way. And the Rastafari part come in. So nothing here really has to do with Christianity and a whole. Because Christianity do not use Yeshua. Jesus Christus Rastafari because Jesus is the only name according to Christianity you can call and not Jesus just Jesus the name Jesus itself right all right cool now the thing is as I said these people are still practicing the the old laws of the Old Testament right and if you really should read through the Bible, right? If you have like say um a Bible that you downloaded on your phone, just go in at it and go in at the search part and type in sacrifice. And you would see the amount of sacrifices, different kind of sacrifices that you can make to God, right? No. It might sound crazy, yes, because a lot of people still think that the practices that they stopped, right? Um, and bringing this new covenant with Jesus, a lot of people still don't believe in that. So there are people in the world up to this date that still do animal sacrifices, whether unto um, Jehovah or other gods. They're, you know, their gods, because, you know, people worship other gods. And, um, we already know different religion, different gods, so different sacrifices, different culture, different everything, right? Now, we have a couple articles here that I shared, right? Um, animal sacrifice at temple powered ancient Jerusalem's economic, right? Um, you can type in sacrifices or whatever it is, burnt offering. Some of these stories will come up, right? And you can read through it for yourselves and see what is what. Animal bones found in a dump dating to the end of the second temple period suggests that animal sacrifice powered Jerusalem's economic. Another story says that um, the Bronze Age donkey sacrifice found in Israel and um, this date back to 3,500 years. Could read through that as well if you please, okay? Now, if the Jewish people do not offer animal sacrifices, how do they believe they can receive forgiveness from God? As I said, a lot of these people still do not believe in the Jesus story because they were thought, taught um, it, and it's documented that Jesus was a made up thing in um, the Council of Nicaea, right? And they documented it and they have different different um, meetings and if Jesus was really God or was he a human or was he both. And there's a lot of back and forth and you know fixing up stuff um, to make it seem as if Jesus was real according to these documentations. So there are people that, in, that are Hebrews that still don't believe in, in the Jesus story and they more stick to the Old Testament, which they call it the Torah, right? Um, the five books of Moses, right? Now, this here says, um, For all intents and purposes, the Jewish practice of animal sacrifices ended in AD 70. And that was the year when um, the Romans then they destroy the temple, I believe, right? The year that they, yeah, yes, destroy the temple in Jerusalem with the temple gone, there is no longer a place for the sacrifices to be offered according to the Mosaic law. See Deuteronomy 12, 13 to 14. Repeatedly in the Old Testament, the point is made that sacrifices were required to make atonement for sin. And you can read through those there. Um, the shedding of blood is what consecrated things and people to the Lord. 
With no blood sacrifice today, the Jews have no lawful way of atoning for their sin. Passover is still observed, but without the sacrifice, Yom Kippur, the Day of Atonement, is still on the calendar. But there is never an offering made for sin. The stipulation of the Mosaic Law remains unchanged. But the Jewish people cannot make things right with God. They cannot find forgiveness without an animal sacrifice. Now, if you continue to read that, they are going to go into the part where they are talking about um, eventually Jesus came into play. And it just one bloodshed and that, you know, for both Gentiles and um, Israelites, right? And as I said, a lot of people still do not believe in the Jesus story. So these people here, right? You can see they did not put the word Jesus in the letter. This man here, he did not put Jesus. He put Jesus. Um, he put Yahshua. It was Yahshua. He did not. He did not put Jesus for sure. Include our Rastafari and all them stuff there. Like they want to mix up Rasta and them bang around. You see it. But just to show you. A lot of people will say this is wrong. Right? A lot of people would say this is wrong. But if you're going to look at it like this. Right? Common sense. If anyone believe in the Bible overall. Old Testament and New Testament. Right? They believe fully fully in it. Then. You are believing that God made all these laws, right? And because you look on them now and them look away, right? Um, if your child disrespects you, you should stone him to death. Um, if you catch your girl um, having sex with someone, you should stone her to death. And there's a lot of ridiculous laws that we would call ridiculous now in this time that we would not practice, right? A man picking up sticks on the Sabbath, them stone him to death, right? A man donkey dropping a one hole and them try to take out the donkey on the Sabbath and them stone him to death, right? There's so many ridiculous things that would not be practiced now. So these Romans, when they took over, realized that these are these cannot work. So they did what they did, right? It 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 rough, but. As I said, if you are going to believe in the book, right? You, if God is perfect, then according to, to, to the Christianity, right? Christian's teaching. And he doesn't make mistakes, right? Then if you are going to replace Jesus with this, that means there's something wrong with it in the first place, right? There's no other way to look on it. You don't change something if there is nothing wrong. And you dash what all of that like all those 600 and had or 700 and had laws you just dash them away and say okay we give you jesus for all of them there like you don't have to practice these anymore because as i said a lot of them are ridiculous if a woman is caught um having sex with a man and she did not scream like she's being raped they're gonna stone her to death the man get away right if a man rape a female, right, and they caught and say, basically she scream rape or whatever it is, the man is not killed. The man go to the parents, pay them some money, and she's now his wife. Like, those things are ridiculous, people. Like, there are so many in the Bible who don't even really understand. Because a lot of people don't read the Bible. Who don't really don't read the Bible. Because if you read the Bible, anybody right now that is bashing this man, right? That is bashing this man really does not know their Bible. If he is practicing, if he's saying, if God made this, right? And God does not make any mistake, why would he bring in Jesus? It doesn't make sense to people um, like him, I can say, right? Because if you're perfect, you don't need to change. You don't need to adjust. You don't need everything to stay perfect the way it is. Right? Now, as we say, people are going to bash it. Some people might have go maybe even cuss me upon the video here for what me I say. I love what me I say and I lie. Right? Me not try to diss nobody or anything like that. I'm just speaking the facts. Right? So, 
I would really like to hear what you guys have to say in the comments section about this because there are other places, churches that are practicing these things and just not come to surface as yet. But tell you the truth, it will surface one day. And I mean, Jamaica can't really turn upside down yet, but it depends on the way right now, is it? So big up on yourself and thanks for listening to this video if you don't really spend the whole time on listening.